Ah, oh, g'day guys, back again. Um, probably getting sick of me, <laughs> sick of me. But uh, oh, this is the reason I'm doing a video is a two-edged sword. Um, I'll explain the the other edge of the sword, so to speak, a bit later. Um, these are the two padlocks um, I got in that uh, flea bay auction. The bid, the one I was successful at. Um, that was the larger one uh, with the JA uh, plug. Yeah, it's something weird, not weird, I suppose. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, there's actually eight holes in this. In this uh, padlock on the face. You know, I was concerned. Well, I'm not concerned, but I was just comparing the actual the length difference. Um, well, I use the 247, for example. Um, the extra length in that body. Um, that's a 247. I'll get back to that shortly. Um, yeah, that 247 is a six pin. Obviously, this is a five pin. Uh, C4 should be a C. Yeah, that would be five uh, keyed operator. Back in the day when it was genuine from the factory. Uh, what I thought, oh, suspecting someone's had a go at this because um, they reasonably did a pretty rough job on it. Um, yeah, I'll, um, has, I would imagine that uh, obviously it's a 247 six pin. And um, they may want it for a to be part incorporated in part of a, a key system on a C4, um, which they couldn't do unless they removed that um, last pin, so which they probably have done. So yeah, if you look on the um, on the core, there is the, the six hole is empty. Obviously, it it didn't come empty from Lockwood, so someone's obviously. Had a go at it and remove that pin and keyed it up to that maybe the customer's key who had to his house to his business or whatever you know but um, anyway i wasn't going to put up with that either either way it had to come come apart i was going to refurbish it anyway the padlock's fine i'll get the padlock out so i can flatten off the top and bottom edge get them squared off but um yeah i would have had to would have taken them apart anyway i wasn't going to run a five a five pin key on a genuine 247 when it should be a six pin it's yeah it's just yeah it's fraud well not fraud literally but yeah it's, it doesn't add up to it, it doesn't um ring true with its um its history and, and what it is so i'll um just get a genuine lockwood lw5 and uh yeah i'll keep everything i'm sure yeah on this side here i'll like Add another genuine Lockwood pin from the 90s, you know, nice clean tapered ones, and keep it genuine. With those pins, I'll just cut another key, uh, LW5 key, and reassemble it and get it up nice and sparkly. Uh, that's normal. That's the plug retainer uh, hole. So that's yeah, another job. I get yeah, get motivated and get time. Yeah, but this one, uh, very well. That's a 245 special or maybe or well, actually it's a 247 plug um, uh, would, that would fit in that one not a problem exactly the same as that plug anyway um, yeah so that's the JA I'm not yeah like I said I'm not a yeah it doesn't excite me so to speak not my cup of tea I mean everyone's different people like collecting restricted stuff um, but uh, no not not for me um, I was hoping I had a bloody six pin, bloody genuine plug, but I haven't, I've only got five pins, that's a problem, um, yeah, I don't know if I can sacrifice one for this, um, I mean, I, I would anyway, because, well, not so much this one, the actual lock body's fine, yeah, I'll decide what I want to do, but, um, with that, um, yeah, so, yeah, so I thought that was interesting. There's eight uh, chamber holes there, and uh, that hole here, that's the hole for the um, plug retainer. So there's an eighth hole there. I don't know why. That's, yeah, a bit to be bewildered, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> if you know, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Uh, yeah, so... Anyway, that's, um, 
yeah, that's the story of them anyway. I'll uh, get around to uh, refurbing, refurbishing those anyway. Um, well, what was the question there? Yeah, oh, okay. Anyway, uh, I've still got, a, I don't know, five minutes to spare, I suppose. I might have a quick squeeze of some old, um, just um, some old, bit of old material I found. You know, you find in your in boxes in the shed which you haven't touched for bloody 20 or 15, 20 years. Mm. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, let's see. Well, I'm going over this again, I suppose, but this is a better, gives you a better idea, a better picture of that. I remember I was talking about the 777 deadbolt, the offset one. Um, this is an old, yeah, lock up little mini mini brochure catalogs type thing. Um, yeah, that's the 777, um, the offset one I was talking about. You can't retrofit a, no, a modern uh, deadbolt application to that hole because the deadbolt would be over here somewhere. You could end up with a big, you know, that gaping hole there, cavity into the door, which is no, not good. So, yeah, so that's the 777 with the offset. They're a one-off fit. Um, they're a bit strange actually that they're, they're ass about. I mean, in the real world, well, if you turn that um, plug in the housing to the left, expecting the bolt to go extend, it retracts and vice versa. Um, yeah, don't ask me why. But, uh, maybe that's someone must be wrong a reason for it, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I found an old, uh, sheesh, an old Lockwood uh, receipt from, it was a cash sale, uh, yeah, 94, so that's when, uh, there you go, McGill Road, Nord, I said Kensington Park, so, uh, Nord, which is the next suburb closer to the city, so, uh, yeah, so, I think mean, that's a lot of money back then, or well, was for me anyway, 15 bucks cash, um, Here's some of the stuff I used to get, like master pins for, that'll be Lockwood master pins. Um, and yeah, Lockwood disc wafers and disc springs for, uh, sheesh, that was the price. That was obviously pre-GST days, that was a 20, back in the day when it was 21 cents uh, sales tax. Uh, she so given, yeah. Oh, bloody good days, 21 percent. Bloody, bloody criminals. Anyway, uh, these are probably more relevant for, for Australian content, I think, for probably funky. Um, I mean, this brochure was obviously when these first come out, you know, expounding how good they are, um, which they they, they were a fair, you know, fair padlock, uh, good system. Um, that's the price back, so yeah, twelve dollars ninety five. So yeah, this is pretty. Ch oh, there you go, GST. So yeah, that would have been. I don't know when GST come in. Crikey. Well, they c you can date that um, padlock. If you Google GST Australia when it was introduced, and you can get a work out the the uh, timeline. So anyway, it's probably boring to pump people. I'm just. Yeah, I find it interesting. It's just a bit of nostalgia. Uh, that's an old Optimus Supply News. This VR Commodore, the new VR Commodore. So, <laughs> uh, anyone out of Australia wouldn't have a clue what I'm talking about. VR Commodore, what's he on about? Mm. Yeah, so the new VR Commodore. So that was uh, a bit of a, a spill about how good they are, what you need to um, do with the programming um, with the. Um, Ignition and uh, yeah, the new deterrent uh, deterrent system. Uh, yeah, with the new electronic ignition key. Yeah, so a bit of history there for any fellow Wazzies. Um, yeah, VRs. You've oh, well, probably you've find them everywhere in Australia on the sides of the road with a you know other full sale piece of cardboard with full sale. You know, four hundred dollars nearest offer. You know, ring ring Fred. I mean, whatever the mobile phone number is, but yeah, yeah, 
they leave them, if they break down, people leave them on the side of the road now. Let the council pick them up. But it's just, uh, yeah. But uh, back in the day, they were, I don't know, what, 10 grand, eight, nine grand or 10 grand, not brand new, so, yeah. Anyway, all right, two more things I'll, I'll let you go, so to speak. Don't drive you crazy anymore. Now, I was talking about the 234s, 232s and 245s, the clone, uh, the clone padlocks made by Uni, Ilkin, Ilko, uh, Unican, Unican uh, which is back in the yeah, 90s, mid 90s. Uh, they made them, and BDS made them too. And the clones of the Lockwoods. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, the 2045, the 2034, and the 2032. Um, yeah, they come in locksmith form too. LS locksmith form, obviously. Um, 234, you get them in a 6 pin and a 5 pin. Um, got plenty of, well, I haven't got plenty, but, you know, cry, I was looking for that uh, 6 pin 245 plug. Or 247 plug, but couldn't find one. But I uh, got quite a well, got a few 234 uh, six pinners, uh, so probably never going to use anyway. But you know, keep them keepsakes. Yeah, so, yeah, I just found this. Uh, I don't know, I don't, a bit of a bloody order, I think. Uh, this is an old confidential agreement. Uh, that's the date, first day of January 1997, when I joined the Overland Security Group, which was Master Security. Locksmiths, basically. That's it, some of the names they did. They did fire systems and safes and uh, you know, security. And I was in that division and the safe part. Fire and the alarms was a different, a different department. But uh, yeah, yeah. The company desires to appoint the said employee as a locksmith, which is a full-time position. Yeah, if you saw, if, actually, I might have a quick look at it. See how much they paid me that back then. I think, you know, I think someone on the dole uh, would get more than what I made back then. Yeah, just a quick squeeze here with any. No, no, I didn't mention the money. It wasn't much anyway. About three hundred and eighty dollars a week, or something. Which, yeah, yeah, gee, yeah, twenty-two years ago, wasn't too bad, I suppose. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just thought I'd add that just to make up the time. A uh, bit of uh, bit of historic rambling, I suppose. Anyway, yeah. The reason I'm making this video too, I'm trying to get up to the. Oh, I don't know. It's just up. Um, increase the video outage, if you would, uh, just to get to 100, and then I'm happy. And I'll just you know, do whatever. But um, yeah, so don't be surprised if you see a video popping up as was absolute absolute rubbish on the video or useless information which probably some are saying all my videos are but <laughs> I don't really care I'm only um, into this for the hardcore people I get you know, care about I suppose who are interested um, the rest probably come and go which is interesting saying that because um, I know there's a couple of subscribers sort of take off or disappear I don't know if that's a YouTube glitch or people are just you know not interested but my idea if you subscribe to someone you're doing it for a reason you're not just picking someone out of the blues they here or joe blow here do i'll subscribe to him you obviously do a bit of background watch see if you enjoy it or find it interesting then you subscribe and you go for the journey yeah anyway, i mean I'd, I'd rather have 10 hardcore decent people i know who are, yeah genuine uh, with what i do and and uh, then have you know 300,000 subscribers who pfft, couldn't give a rat's ass really. They're just there for the I don't know what the reason this is to be be dazzled and uh, given the uh, David Copperfield show, you know, smoke and mirrors and uh, production. But that's another subject I can rant and get into that. But you all sort of know anyway. Anyway, that'll do now. It's um, maybe 15 minutes. So yeah, so that was the update on those padlocks. And uh, yeah, I know like my neighbor probably uh, he'll probably turn the video off. But he would have turned it off probably after two minutes, I think. Um, watching the destruction, the sacrilege of the lock being broken down, but um, it has to be done, mate. There's reasons for all things, and the end result is what counts for me. So, anyway, until next time, take care, and uh, yeah, bye.